Hi all, this is just a quick little video to show you how to embed a Storify archive into your blog post, um, in case you're having trouble with that. You can see I've got a simple blog post here called Embed on my blog, um, just some lower MIPS and text, I'm going to delete it later. But I would like to embed a Storify archive right in between these two paragraphs. This is how you do that, and in this case I'm going to use Krista's Storify archive. So we'll go there. When you're looking at your Storify archive, you can get the embed code right here. Simply a matter of dragging across and copying that. So I've copied that embed code. And I'll go back to my blog, go to my dashboard, and edit this post. And where I'd like to have the Storify archive appear is right in between these two paragraphs. I can make a space for it here. If I simply paste in what I copied, I get the embed code, but that's only going to show up if I update this and go view the page. You can see that it simply replicates that code directly in the text. And that's not what you want. You want the story archive to appear there. So let's go back to the post. I'll delete this from here and show you the step that you need to take before you paste that embed code in. And that is, you're working right now in sort of a visual editor, You kind of like Word. You can see the bold and indents and all the stuff that goes on up here. But you can work directly with the HTML code. To do that, you choose a little text tab right here. Looks pretty much the same. There's some HTML code right here that's standing for non-breaking space. I could leave that there if I wanted to, or I could delete it and just paste in that embed code directly where I'd like it to go. If I go back to my visual, you won't see the embed code. You'll see the actual cultural storytelling archive sitting in there. And if I update the page, you'll see that that archive is embedded directly on the page, which is what you want out of this project. Hope this helps.